In Singapore, we are a small island with a lot of people. 1% of our land is actually dedicated to agriculture. I'm Bjorn and I garden in rooftops and viaducts. We just want to turn underutilized spaces into productive spaces and that's really the mantra. Walking around the city, I see a lot of green spaces that are not being utilised. So I use that as a push to really dig down into what can be done in the more urban setting. When we started seven years ago, we were one of the first few to start urban farming as a concept. We do want to help regular Singaporeans address the space issues so that they can still grow food at home. Towers like these are really good. You can grow five layers of plants using only the footprint of uh, one pot. We actually have lots of cool farmers adopting lots of really innovative technology to help Singapore reach food security despite our limitations. So this is an indoor hydroponic system where we grow plants using water to carry the nutrients so that the roots can absorb. So we came up with the container idea two years ago because we wanted to be able to move so that you can just plug and play however you want to be. What we found was that a lot of restaurants and a lot of hotels were getting into the local food movement and the chefs were the one pushing a lot. And we built them gardens, playing a lot with local forgotten vegetables and herbs that you can't find in the markets. It gives them an edge over the other restaurants when, when they had us. It's a lot of chef's dream actually. We are very um, blessed to have a garden right beside the restaurant, something that's rare in Singapore. So pretty much this is what we need for the salad that I'm going to be making. Wow, salad. it's awesome. You look around and there's nature everywhere. It's, it's beautiful, it's an oasis in the middle of a city. We want to use urban farming as a way of helping people connect back to nature. What I found working in the gardens over the last seven years is the therapeutic effect of connecting with nature. When I found out that what we have done has allowed the government to think about urban farming differently and to change some of the policies they put in place for urban farming for the future, I think I've really reached my goal. We have created this platform for the future of urban farming for the younger generation to take it forward. I think I've done my work. <laughs>